Morning. Welcome back to another one. Crow hunting again. That's what we do. Today a little different. We're gonna give you a how-to. We got the crow god right here. We got Kevin J somewhere Morning. right here. And they're gonna tell you what to do because I just stand here in video. I don't. I don't know. So we're gonna probably do it as we go through the video. We're just waiting right now. Boom. There it is. <laughs> Got him in the foot. Right here, right here, coming down me. Right down the hedgerow. Right at you, Kev. Nice shot, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's dropping. He's gonna be right here, Kev. Oh yeah, right in tight. You call it. Just one? I can't see. Better kill him now before he gets in the sun. Your ass. Ah, he's going by far out there. Get him, get him, get him, get him. You got a Get him, get him. Still alive, Jeff. Come on. I got him. I got him. Dude, we all pulled up and like thought about it for like a split second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all did. <laughs> here he comes, right here. <laughs> I couldn't see. <laughs> That's probably not going to be on GoPro either. Okay, so before we get to the how to part of this from Kevin and Juan, I just want to go over our shot sizes and our choke tubes. We get a lot of questions on those. Uh, we're all running 12 gauge shotguns. Kevin's running a semi, me and one, and we're running pumps. Uh, we're all running extra full choke tubes, shot size seven and a half and eights, stoning birds out to 40, 45 yards with no problem. Our birds are pressured, so they don't come in as tight, so we like our extra full chokes to reach out there and touch them. Sometimes you got to do that. So, with all that being answered, get back to the action, get so back to the house. Uh, tips of the days. We're gonna do one on decoys, and we're gonna do one on hiding. So, here's one with the decoy tip. Well, we're keeping the decoys really tight to us and up and along the hedgerow. 
once you start putting decoys out a little farther the birds tend to hang out a little farther so we sucking them in tight just got a cluster of them and uh, put the collar just a little upwind of uh, the decoys because the birds like to tend to go to the collar like so see there's your decoys with tight there may be 10 yards off the blind collars upwind over Collars upwind as the wind's coming from this way. Okay, so now we're gonna do Kevin's hiding tip of the day. All right, with the blind, what you want to do is just basically grab big sticks for a baseliner first, and then you want to grab golden rods, any kind of dead grass that you got around. Try to fill that in just so they can't see you as they're coming in. And don't move is probably the biggest thing on top of that as well. If you ain't got good brush or good cover to even get, um, just to break you up. And if it doesn't work, just grab more brush. Just keep doing what you can do to fill in and try to hide yourself. Just the better you hide, the better chance you got to kill something. Show us what it looks like when the birds are coming in. Yeah, I want to get down. I mean, you basically want to be totally, totally disappear like that. Gone. No movement. Movement. Keep little holes in the blind, then you can see through as they're coming. It's a little bit better when you got the sun, you know, to your back, also rather than in your face. Also in like a depression off the head drop. Keep this lower too. Yeah. So we gotta walk down. So you probably it slopes down. I mean that's level, so you can see it slopes down right here. This is our spread. Bodies everywhere. See how tight it was to the blind? Blind's right there, decoys, I mean, that's not even 10 yards, it's probably like five yards. Main spread. One's a band checker. Just used all the bodies to fill in the holes. We only really had 20 full bodies. So. Pile time. You gotta get that one on the way home. Yeah. Get Josh Allen barbecue sauce for yeah. this thing. It'll be delicious. Slow cook them. You bet. Thank you. Smaller ones.